Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World of Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 31. I am still on version 1.18. Why did I do that? Actually, I, I still thought that there's a bug with 1.20 that they're waiting to fix, and I checked, I think I checked today and there was no 1.21. Maybe I'm kind of off. I need to actually spend some time and look at the versions. Okay, note to self, action item for Tortuga. Just take a look at the versions carefully. Um, in the meantime, we'll just continue on. I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Um, we have three beautiful battleships ready. Uh, sorry, not ready, but oh, they will be ready, and that'll be great. But under construction, look how cool this spacing is. It didn't like have to work out this way, but it just did that we were able to lay down two and then finally got a third one out. Um, monthly balance is just... It looks like it's going to go positive even if I take my hands off the wheel at this point. Um, if I just let things go, I'm pretty sure that we'll get some kind of budget increase by the time we actually lose all our money, which is, you know, 17 months away, year and a half, more. So that's interesting. I'm um, still waiting on one more war before we scrap our pre-dreadnought battleships. 1926, it's pretty interesting. I mean, you'd have to think that this is still... At how many how many nations were fielding their um, pre-dreadnought battleships at the end of World War One? Because that's more or less the time frame we are. Uh, I think there was a few. So especially Japan. I mean, I wasn't Japan fielding them. <laughs> so uh, we'll wait a little bit longer. We do have our our good carriers out, and now we're just waiting for the purpose-built fleet carriers. We can scrap the Sakurajima, which is not scrapping as I like to roleplay it, as I mentioned. It's more of a transition to a different nation or museum ship, you know. I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to roleplay that something more exciting happens to her than just being sold for scrap. But maybe, I mean, maybe the best way to <laughs> roleplay her is for having her go to scrap. I don't know. Uh, I just, it's not as satisfying to do that in my head. So, with the increase, I mean, with the balance, uh, monthly balance the way it is, I'm really starting to think we can squeeze in some more ships. Um, and what sh what ships would those be? It's a good question. One of the things I would say about their new battleship is it does lack speed. It's always nice to have some kind of fast battleship or battlecruiser option. Um, probably too expensive to build though yeah so our two heavy cruisers they're like not that doesn't really matter to me I don't think heavy cruiser light cruiser I mean again if I look at the almanac we're not really doing that badly on any one category besides the, the top end the capital ships so here we're just so far behind uh, carriers were obviously way ahead. Battleships, well, that, that should, we should divide this by four and we get one. I'm adding one to our dreadnought total. <laughs> Using 64,000 tons to get one dreadnought. Uh, yeah, eight here versus three, four, six. I think we're doing okay. I, actually, I just feel like this is a little bit weird. I would say imbalanced, rather imbalanced. That Why did these nations have so few light cruisers? They were developed way more historically. So something feels a little bit off. Yeah, and the other thing we could do is invest more in submarines. Of course, the good thing about investing in submarines is that you buy the new, you pay the same, but you buy the, the the newest quality. Looks like we're gonna have to bring this into vision. Um, okay, so this is just an upgraded version, which looks like it has firepower. Exactly one firepower difference. That's, oh no, not not true. Has heavier bomb load, which torpedo bombers are not going to use, so it's kind of irrelevant. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what? Let me let me stop and take a picture of, like, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with words right now, but. Let's just take a look at what is the ship that is most likely to go obsolete first. I'm not really going to pay attention to destroyers in this because destroyers are retired in a special way under Tortogo and any variety of Tortuga. They're always 
you know, done, they're given a battlefield retirement, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about retiring them or scrapping them here. And beyond that, I think the Kushinos, these are the oldest, but um, the legacy light cruisers are always, like, they always stick with us the longest. Like, in every way, I just keep circling back to the fact that we need more capital ships. So, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Okay, well, it could be war with Russia. We're getting very close now. And we could probably provoke it if we decided to activate our fleet. Monthly balance is now positive. I wonder if we can squeeze this in. So we have five more months without having gotten a new torpedo defense or anything like that. I feel like we are gonna build one more of these Daigoji's. I, I like them, I just really like them. 11 16 inch guns is just so powerful. Very strong armor. Obviously their weakest, like the weakest statistic about them is their speed. It's like a known issue. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's <laughs> worth getting another one or not. They, they are pretty darn expensive. I'll, I'll defer the decision a month while our cabinet meets. Increased elevation. Boy, that would be great. Uh, airship bomb armament. Yeah, so if we end up getting something where we have to refit them, then we don't want to refit them until all of them are out. But this one was only started three months ago. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to make a command decision. We're going to have a, a Tokugawa. So we're going to have a lot of these Daigojis. Um, they will probably eventually be the like mainstay fleet by themselves, just solely by themselves. Because, ooh, now that's, yeah, I probably didn't do the math, I mean, not probably, I didn't do the math to really take into consideration how much that might affect us. However, I wonder if we can just cut back on race, I don't know. Um, if we go to war, this probably won't be a problem anymore. And Russian tensions dropped as well, that's probably aggravating our budget situation. Um, okay, better 9-inch guns. I, I don't want these, but it's going to take one less, it's one less gun design that we have to develop. Okay, ASW. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, we started building it. If it was a mistake, Oh, we only have to last three months. Actually, I think we're going to make it. This is crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go to war with Germany, but we'll still send the diplomatic note. Tensions are dropping like a rock, which is actually hurting us pretty badly right now. Hmm. Yeah, war with Russia really wouldn't help us, though. I mean, I guess it'd be a good thing, because we could just let our submarines slowly eek away. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, all right. Increased elevation. My goodness. Okay. So let's pause. I'm actually going to make a decision to pause the second latest one, not the latest one. Or second oldest one. Or newest, I guess. They're the newest. They're laid down <laughs> most recently. But the one laid down second most recently so that these actually coincide a little bit more. Oh, what do you mean that? Oh, that's not going to help. I, I'm going to override my previous decision, halt this one, and I'm going to let us go into the negative. And there she is. <laughs> and immediately she's got to be the flagship. It's like a great day. And the French want to buy some ship design. Look, I don't want to sell it to the French in general, but, well, what choice do we have right now? Uh, I'm still saying no to that. We're back on the positive. We will quickly squander that. <laughs> no, but we should be fine now. So we had to delay one month, and that, that's not that big of a deal. Um, five, Yeah, we'll just, I mean, look, it's late enough in the game that five plus center line 
I'm not even using my five plus center line. If you're using more than four, it would be weird to see. So we'll take the money. Oh, so happy. And I guess what we can do is just start refitting these with uh, increased elevation. Just save. Ah, uh, yeah. And we also, wait, did I say no? I mean, I, I'm whatever. So we'll do this, this, um, that looks good. Short range, those things are fine. Yes, there we go. Okay, there's the important to go. We'll just go do the gachimuchi as well. This is gonna be actually a little bit expensive. It looks like a, the first one made it okay, but they do, I mean, they're on active duty when they're being refit, as far as I know. Even though that doesn't really make sense, they might as well be mothballed since <laughs> the whole crew's like gone. <laughs> I mean, they're on shore leave or whatever. But, okay, anyway, so increased elevation and director firing here. Three not uh, three tons left over. Perfect. Save. Go. I wonder, did I make any mistakes with my daigojis? And let me just look at the design. Make sure these are, for example, oil. Good. <laughs> All or nothing. Good. Just want to make sure that you know, I didn't fall into my, one of my usual traps. <laughs> um. Okay, so with tensions low, we might want to just reserve these guys now, nah, let them work up. And then we're going to have to start, you know, extending the, increasing the elevation on these two. I'm going to, I'll wait a little bit on that. Half the fleet tonnage mothballed. Okay, that's, we can, yeah, uh, we can just put these on reserve. And that sure did not. Did not help us. Um, we'll moth uh, reserve fleet these as well. There we go. Oh, oh. Well, I'm I'm envious. They have. I mean, this is the Nelson, right? <laughs> Very cool. But they have the all forward gun armament. They're taking advantage of it, wisely so. They have dual purpose three inch guns. They went really light on the deck. I mean, I think the Nelson actually had like five inch deck or something like that. Something a lot thicker than three inches. So this is a, a ship, if we, end up, if we end up encountering it, 29 knots, it's very fast, but if we do encounter it, we'll fight it at range, try to get deck hits. She has very weak deck armor. She's got no deck. Um, okay, subdivision damage control stuff. TNT, torpedoes do more damage, that's really good. And we got 17 inch guns, which are my favorite guns in the game. And we just need quality one, but even with quality zero, that's absolutely the next ship we're gonna build. I mean, next big ship, maybe the last big ship. Uh, torpedo bombers, are we interested in buying this one? What's well, slower, has much greater range. Hmm. That's a tough one. It's not much slower, significantly longer range, and it's just a little bit less maneuverable, a little bit less tough, less bomb load, but again, that's always something, I mean, that's just not something we care about. The reliability, it might be better than poor. I'm gonna take a, a gamble on it. Whoa, negative. We're very much in the negative. Um, okay, well, okay, here we go, wait, what, we don't get a surprise attack? All right, unrestricted, because it looks like the other nations are pretty far behind. Um, this is interesting. No surprise attack. Oh, the Kokatsos are obsolete. Should I just bring them in and just do a quick refit? I mean, the 19, oh, these are 1920 refit. Okay, so yeah. Some of these older vessels, <laughs> they really are getting, I can't believe it's 1927. We really blew through a lot of months in that peacetime. I didn't pay attention. But boy, we went, we went pretty far. We'll have to get, let's see, so ASW, it looks like trade protection is just barely gonna be enough. 
with what we have. So we have 27 of 23. That's not great. I don't think the Russians have too many submarines. Let's take a look. 55, actually, that's a fair number. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. Our, pretty much our entire fleet is being refit right now with improved um, elevation. Six more months until the next Daigoji. And we also need to make sure that our air groups are set. I mean, this might take a moment, but forgive me. We need to do it. So 10 out of 14. Yeah, we need to add a squad here. And this will be fighters. Yep. So this will be kind of an escort carrier, which makes sense considering it has the, it's, it's almost like a battle carrier. And we don't have any, okay. Yeah, well, I should have done this a little bit before, but that's not too big of a deal. We'll go with fighters at, wait, so 10, 12, 12. Fighters at 10. Uh, torpedo bombers at 12. And torpedo bombers at 12. Good. Okay, good. So then we'll just copy this design and we'll paste here. We have nobody in reserve, good, okay, just wanted to make sure. And then we'll paste here as well. And everyone else should be getting up to speed. Okay, well, I mean, hey, it's nice that we didn't close off any of our air bases considering we are fighting Russia. Just doubling back on them. Look, at they don't have, a, again, we don't really have anything that we want from them. Um, we don't have the invasion range to get to Kamchatka. Oh, oh lordy, oh lord, <gasps> Russia, thank you, thank you, oh thank you, I'm so happy. Russia took over South Korea and then we immediately go to war with them. This is like, I mean this is like beautiful. I mean we couldn't have planned this any nicer. It's exactly what we want. Wow, that's perfect. Boy, are we gonna have some budget issues though. What the heck is going on? Oh, it's mostly, I think, our invasion planning. Yeah, we might have to halt the, one of these guys for now to save things, because we need this invasion. I mean, South Korea, that would be, in my opinion, it's actually a must have. Okay, next turn, and this is the big one. Do we wanna adjust any of our ships, actually, before we move to the next turn? Russia has one Corvette here. They have nothing here, nothing there. Two light carrier, or sorry, two light cruisers, a seaplane tender, nothing. Yeah, nothing else, okay. Light cruiser all the way on the west coast, I'm not sure why, but say so have three light cruisers off in the Pacific, not in Northeast Asia. Otherwise, they have two battle cruisers, two light cruisers. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. What I'd like to do is put, um, I think trade protection still, I, I'm gonna put one of my heavy cruisers onto trade protection. And just to make sure we hunt down if there are light cruisers operating out of Northeast Asia that we get to them. Probably I wanna do the same with one of my Chencha Marus. Let's do trade protection with one of them. Yeah, that's good. Okay, coastal bombardment. So it does not look like we invite, we have launched any surprise attacks. Interesting, coastal raid, is that we, uh, and where's this bombardment target? Pretty close to land? Well, that's, at least we're gonna be saved by nighttime. What do we have here? We just have, we have a lot of destroyers. Okay, I think we'll, we'll take this mission. Do I want to just get in, mission accomplished, and get out? Well, actually, I think I'm okay fighting them. Um, no, 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 not like this. I don't know what you're doing now. 
They want to be in visual range is the problem, but I actually don't want you in visual. I don't care if you're in visual range. We're oper we're already operating on captain's mode. So look at the advantage that we're going to have here is using our destroyers. We have these destroyers. Let's use them. What are you? 28. What means you are Chen Chen Maru. Yep, indeed you are. We'll take this guy off as well. Just send him to 20. And here's another light cruiser division. We'll leave that one and we'll take these destroyers. And screen formation. I'm okay with screen formation here. Okay, start running at normal. Okay, we need to go a little bit faster on some of these destroyers just so they gain a little bit of spacing. Yeah. There they come. Very good. Just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit. There we go. Gaucho. Um, we're going to take you guys off screen. Because that doesn't make sense to me. And you're still on 20 knots. Okay. All good. Okay. Keep charging ahead. Oh, wow. This is a big destroyer line. These guys have such a wide screen formation, considering it's night. You would, I would expect actually, I think something a little bit smaller, but it's okay. We're just gonna cruise all the way on over. If we don't find anything, that's fine. We'll make our turn and begin attacking the bombardment target. Okay. So the main issue I have is just making sure that we don't get surprised by the enemy. Let me see what exactly I have here. Okay, the Psy class, which are three triples. Also three triples. This is also the Psy class, okay. Psy. Akakazi, which is doves. Okay, so you're actually a little bit older, it looks like, in terms of ships. Yeah, you have the Hak you have the Akakazi. Okay. So you're gonna um, shift west, and everyone else is gonna shift east. Why? Because I, I suspect that they are to the east or to the west, I should say. You're not gonna make your turn yet so that we continue to protect you. Okay, good. Now you can make your turn. Gaucho needs to clean gates. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even know we had the Kushinos here. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know, honestly, the Kushinos are the best, probably the best job for the the task of bombardment. The important thing is going to be to get identification and then bombard for a long time. Okay. Hopefully this will allow us to actually do bombardment. And it appears not. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've identified it and that they should pass that information to the next ones. Wish there was a patrol option. I could just give them two spots, tell them to go back and forth. That would be good. 
Okay, somebody actually shot. I heard it. <laughs> Thank God. Um, I think it was pretty short-lived. Yeah, we're probably going to have to hang out here until... <sighs> so stupid. Probably just going to have to hang out here until, you know, daytime. They should just be able to fire. Once they see it, they don't need visual range anymore. We just... We know more or less we need to fire at. Yeah, very unlikely to do anything here. Okay, so let's get people down, except for... Okay, so I, um, I want these guys at, like, cruise, so they don't burn out their engines at all, but then I need to keep them protected. And you guys, if you're not at cruise, just go down to 20, which should kind of, more or less, I'm hoping, preserve engines as well. Now we just have to juggle these people until the sun comes up. What a joy. Okay, unknown ship, ah, uh, yeah, well, go for it if you can, but I doubt you will be able to, you can't, okay, that's fine. Now, we are not setting, like, a perfect screen here. It would be very easy for somebody to slip through the cracks, and I just don't want to manage it, but, oh, I guess we have to. Okay, now we're in business. Send our gauchos down. Akakazi, are you? Yeah, just doing your own thing still. Uh, send you a twenty this way. We'll also send you a twenty this way. Oh my good lord! Oh my goodness! Wait, uh, out of why am I not on patch one point one nine? There's no friendly ships in the line of fire. Okay, that's fine. I think that they won't um, have that problem as long as we tell them just to launch, launch, launch. Yeah, just get out of the way. Oh, so you should go this way and you should go this way, I guess. Whenever you want to rejoin us, Hakukazi, since you're just sitting there staring at us. Yeah, get over there, get over there, and with a little bit more urgency, and launch. Yeah, so unfortunately, because they're stupid, 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 stupid people didn't want to launch, we're just going to start launching at everything. I think the Psy will take the cruiser. This is such bullcrap. I just think this is such bullcrap. <laughs> that's okay. Hopefully they're going to fire... Um, I think that then when they fire at the heavy cruiser, they're also going to fire at the... Yeah, so we're just going to put, put lead down range. Make sure we pick off that, which is probably... I'm guessing that's a, a light cruiser, actually. Okay, unidentified ship. Other one. Let's get the side to keep launching if she can. You only get one first shot, unfortunately. So, yeah, you've expended everything. This one's probably going to take a lot of hits. This group, this division is going to take a lot of hits. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's do line of breast turn together so that we can just kind of manipulate things like that. Ooh, wow, he got so lucky. And hopefully that that means that this Ikaran Nani or whatever is not gonna, you know, get herself killed. Now, you just, we, we know that they're down there somewhere, so just get to it. Okay, turn back. All right, um, let me see. Let me try to detach the injured parties because if we can do that, it's gonna get rid of the exact two that have 
received the most damage. Okay, so let's get you off AI control. Your zero torpedoes. Um, now, can we detach the Psy? That's perfect. That is just perfect. And you guys can return to line ahead, turn together, and we'll turn you in like this. Pretty obvious, good. Now we have support, line ahead. Okay, good. So we got the ships, we got everyone that we want. We'll just send these guys off, I guess, this way. Go, de go there at 20, though. Now don't sink yourself. Which 20 is actually pretty quick, too. We might actually I'll slow them down to cruise. If they encounter something, they have the speed to evade it right now, at least. And you guys are at squad max. Wow. Okay, well, just nice and easy. Oh, my God. There they are, way over here. Okay, okay, okay. Quickly radio for that, that group to head south. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? This is probably the cruiser. Huh. Well look, we don't know what that is and there's no point. Oh, we launched torpedoes? We actually did it? Then wow, that's crazy. I don't think smoke is going to matter here, but we're still going to deploy smoke. Oh, this is actually a very old division itself, except for the buttons on. So it's it's a priority, then. I don't think we need to worry about that group, actually, because that cruiser has already taken a torpedo hit. And, you know, for, in all likelihood, is not long for this world. We'll see our Japanese ships crossing. Okay, good. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. No. No. <laughs> ah, okay, Kitakazi. In the namesake. F, 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 F. <laughs> okay, I think we can do this if we just do line abreast, turn together, and we just slightly turn this way. That should give us, hopefully, at least two torpedoes can be fired now. Yeah. I mean, if any others can be fired, they should as well. Did you already launch? No, friendly ship in line of fire, of course. The bond's on. I cannot believe this bull crap. All right, we'll shift south to try to get the bond's on. Oh my god, the bond's on just launched. Okay, so she's got two torpedoes out. And let's just take a look at the ship we're hitting here. It's an older one. For sure an older one. This is still a fantastic potential result. I consider this, uh, you know, like payback for not having a surprise attack. Let's get our destroyers in there. Um, cruisers, on the other hand, probably should disengage. Especially the ones we're worried about. Which, so, the non Koshinos. <laughs> The Kushinos can just go ahead and steam right on in. Take care of those destroyers if they can. Kind of interesting to see what the Akakazi is doing there. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we'll go back to line ahead. Don't turn together, because that's the end of it. I don't think we're going to get it. I uh, guess we could turn and pursue. Let's do the turn and pursuit from the head, though. Yeah, so she's slowing down immediately. Can the bonds on now? I mean, that she'd be firing these backwards. No target. Huh. Friendly ship. It's just horrendous. This is just so weird. <laughs> okay, they're turning back towards us. That is good. We'll get these guys to go north. Or yeah, well, mainly east, but also a little bit north. Trying to guard against us being, if they like double back and go north. That, oh, hey, um, hello. 
Hello. Can we please identify this? <laughs> well, it's turning really quickly, so I suspect it's not. Okay, there they are. But there's there's more down here. I mean, there's battle cruisers. I mean, this is just crazy. Isn't it just so interesting? The fog of war. I love it. Okay, some definitely some ships down here. I think that that's the one we need to worry about. Now they're opening up on us, which means that they have identified us already. Come on, Ashikaze, not against destroyers. Okay, there's the battle cruiser. Ah, is this? Wait, what's going on? Well, visibility is no, not much better. I think the it might have been raining and that might have stopped now. But this is still very intense. Oh God, she did it. She hit her with heavy guns. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just have to detach the lead destroyer now. We're not in the business of getting these killed. They're just not, ne we're not nearly as suicidal as I, I once was. And that's the fact that this battle cruiser is still moving so quickly. I'm just going to cut it off from its escort. Yeah, and that's fine with me. <laughs> just make our exceptions. Where the hell is this other, oh yeah, that's beautiful. Where the hell is the other battle cruiser though? That's the weird thing. Okay, this actually is. Okay, Bonzon, can you launch just one more? Actually, if we can get just like four knots out of the ray. We can turn her to a, an angle where she can actually uh, fire at the Nadezda. Now, this should not be allowed. I'm, I'm going to guess that this is going to be allowed. No, good. That actually makes sense because there are there is a destroyer division behind us. Now, if you want to be like particularly... Uh, I don't know, like, nitpicky about it. Bonzon doesn't know that that destroyer's there, because it's out of her vision range. I wonder if they're trying to abstract that or not. Okay, this is it. The These guys are about to get it, so... Because that's definitely the slow-moving battle cruisers. Gatchers avoiding torpedoes. Turn. Okay, this is actually not terrible. Okay, so... I just, you know, one asks, right? <laughs> Is it possible? Let's do a quick maneuver here. Line of breast, turn together, zip around. Okay, so we actually landed quite a few hits this turn, including sending a torpedo that obviously should not have been sent. <laughs> um, yeah, if you can just get up to speed just for a second. I don't think... Is this one that's already been hit by a torpedo or not? Oh, Ashikazi's in a great position now. Can she launch? Still understandable. Now can she launch? I think the Yuko might be the friendly ship at this point. Well, look, let's just turn and force her one direction. And... Well, if she goes the other, our other destroyers are there. It's a funny situation. Okay, well, that was useful. So the Yuko, well, I don't know how to deal with this. Are you able to launch torpedoes at her? No, I still think that that's fair. Yeah. Where is the other battleship, though? That's still a mystery to me. It was hit somewhere over here. I think I'm going to bring my other cruiser in to try to find it as well. Oh, that was bad torpedo. Oh, wow. 
Okay, they got off a good shot at her. Okay, so now come back to line ahead, turn together, head south, and... Oh, we missed! Oh, goodness. Okay, enemy CL is that one. Okay, that one's certainly dead. If you guys... Okay, we got three knots. It's enough to turn. <laughs> it's enough to turn, damn it. Uh, you go, this would actually be a good shot. I think it's fine. It's not. There's no friendly ships. I don't know how they're doing that, but... Okay, let me turn like this. There's no friendly ships. There's no place like home. There's no... Uh, there's no place like home. I don't know what the Yashikazi's doing. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. What in God's name are you doing? Alright. You have a shot, so line it up and take it. And take this one as well, just in case. Just make sure. It's um, somewhat do or die, just because if we don't end up hitting her, she could, uh, she might not be sinking. I, I, you know, strongly believe she is, but just in case. Um, and if she's not sinking, then she will sink us. It's just that simple. Okay, we did get her. And she's launching more torpedoes. She has no torpedoes left. Okay. Good. Then, I guess just move northeast. This is the exit strategy. Unsighted hit by a torpedo. Okay, that's yeah, as expected. So the pal the Pilata class still avoiding all these torpedoes. Let's take a look at her. So this one has probably been hit by a torpedo, um, which means she's probably doomed. Sixty three hundred. They have survived torpedoes before though, so let's not count our chickens before they hatch. fire uncertainty the strange thing to me is when oh, okay that's the sinking one though the strange thing is when um, they have identified us first okay we got her now I'll just pull her right off and this one's already a goner too but it is moving it says it's a destroyer but I thought that was a hmm, you know what it could have been a destroyer and now we're mainly looking for their oh medium guns. This one's definitely opening up. Okay, Ashikazi. It's your job to uh not torpedo. Hmm. Okay, there's the there's the sighting report. Should be an easy kill. Oh god, a little bit of overkill. But, hey, better overkill than underkill. <laughs> By far. Also, don't launch torpedoes, because I think that... We're about to get hit by our own torpedoes. It's pretty close. Alright, so everything here should be dead. We're just waiting to find out where their battlecruiser went. Yeah, you need to go that way. What's your squad max? Five. Okay, good. Just pick up and go. Bombardment target, who cares? Not a huge concern. But we need to find out where the heck this battlecruiser is. Okay, yeah, that one's a goner already. You guys aren't launching torpedoes, so that's fine. And they know where we are as well. Because they're, you know, all their dead ships are still giving spotting reports. It's just funny to me, the, the Akakazi, it's like she's lost contact with her fleet, and then she sees us, her friendly fleet, and just says, well, you know what? I'd rather be lost. What is that one movie? <laughs> Rogan. Is that what it's called? 
something like that. Okay, machinery repaired, that's always a good message. So get yourself up to 10, fantastic. And then just start making your way out that way. Same as everyone else. Let's also get, um, okay, you guys are at 20 and the other light cruisers are at 22 probably. Let's slow them down to 20. Get you to, well, I think you you must be oil for going 28, so we'll put you at 24. Still fast enough, hopefully, to get away from anything you see. Yeah, this is interesting. This I mean, this has been a very, very, very interesting battle. I think I'm going to have to pause here and call it to a close. It's been a lot of fun so far. Looks, looks Things are looking good for the starts. Uh, that's one battle cruiser. Hopefully, and we we should. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep pushing west and try to find that battle cruiser. It took two torpedoes, if I'm not mistaken. So considering it's twenty five thousand, and it's the Russians. I I have to say I. Yeah, I have some suspicions that this ship. Well, look at it. I think that the percentage, if I was to just put a percentage number on it, there should be a 60% a chance that this thing is sinking. Um, 25,000 tons. Yeah. W remember, we just got the technology with torpedoes doing more damage, the TNT one. So I'm really hopeful that that battlecruiser's days are done. It may not be true. Another thing to consider, now that I like look over here, is what time does it become daytime? We may not want to be around here once aircraft start flying around, because uh, they're not going to be friendly. <laughs> but for now, we'll conclude. We'll have to conclude this one next. I don't find this too much of a cliffhanger, but it'll be exciting to see how it how it plays out in the next video. And until then, thanks for watching and take care.